Hundreds of prisoners stripped to their shorts and forced to sit packed tightly together were guarded by Honduran military police on Monday after the country's government promised a harsh crackdown on criminal gangs operating behind bars. The military takeover of the country's severely overcrowded and gang-infested prison system came after two bursts of lethal violence shocked the country. First, on June 21st, members of a gang in a women's prison attacked other inmates with smuggled guns, knives, and flammable liquids, killing at least 46 women, some of whom were burned alive. Their remains were so badly damaged, authorities could not immediately identify them, delaying notification of the dead inmates' relatives. Honduran President Xiomara Castro said she was shocked by what she called monstrous murders, but there were more killings to come. On Sunday, gunmen burst into a pool hall and opened fire, killing 11 people. Authorities indicated the slaughter may have been some sort of revenge for the women's prison massacre. On Monday, the country's military was handed control of the prison system and began searching cell blocks for weapons. Authorities promised new laws to facilitate stronger measures. In the next few days, a proposal will be sent to National Congress to label the members of criminal structures or gangs as terrorists. Honduran military police officers displayed weapons and ammunition seized inside one of the prisons. If this is what we found in the maximum security area, then you can imagine what there will be in the rest of the places. Criminal gangs have flourished in several Central American countries for years, killing, kidnapping, dealing drugs and leaving many residents afraid to leave their homes. Young people in those areas see no hope for the future. They either join the gangs or migrate or become part of the problem. So, I mean, it really is not just a simple matter of sending in the military and reestablishing control and it all goes away. Neighboring El Salvador launched a massive crackdown last year, imprisoning 60,000 alleged gang members. The move sparked criticism of human rights abuses, but the security situation improved dramatically. Now, Honduras may be following the same course. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera.